harmonia. Recém abriu. Olha a mosquinha. Olha, em homenagem ao Kennedy, né? Que bonito. Ele investia. Ele investia na, na, na NASA, né? Lógico, lógico. Eu ouvi falar. Vamos ver aqui o que tem. Pra que é cinema 3D? Ah, tem várias atrações aqui. Filmar um bonequinho. Eu queria ver 
Hubble has given humans an unbelievable view of space. Outside of the Earth's atmosphere, he can see to the ends of the universe. He's seen millions of galaxies, each with billions of stars. He can almost see back to the beginning of time itself. Some of his most beautiful images show massive objects called planetary nebula. <laughs> That's a fancy name for big clouds of gas and dust given off from dying stars. One of the reasons stars look so beautiful is because they twinkle like diamonds. But you know what? Twinkling makes it difficult to study them clearly through a telescope. The twinkling effect is caused by swirling streams of warm and cold air around the Earth. Hubble gets around this problem because he floats in space above the Earth, well out of the reach of the atmosphere. <laughs> if only humans could see like us robots. Olha só que o cartão é positivo de dinheiro lá no Brasil, tá? lá, né? Que lá que se trabalha, que é museu.
बस वही है अब नहीं I don't know about uh, you all, but I know when I was uh, younger and I was thinking about the space program, uh, the first thing that came to mind was where we are here today, the Kennedy Space Center. With, uh, the rockets out there on the launch pad uh, ready to blast uh, astronauts into space. And, and this, I think, is what most people have as a vision uh, when they think about NASA. But when you get selected for the space program, the first thing that you do is you move to Houston, Texas to the Johnson Space Center, and it doesn't look anything like the Kennedy Space Center. It looks like a college. Okay, we're going to be leaving in just a couple minutes. You may take pictures, but please remain seated at all times. On behalf of NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, welcome aboard. most celebrated launch complex for over half a century. This is NASA's Kennedy Space Center. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are in this business for over 50 years every mission so they're going to take that orion capsule putting it on put it on top of the delta four rocket and launch it deep into space and then have that capsule return into the earth's atmosphere at a high speed and see how well it holds up so that's late next year i mean sorry that's late this year sometime in october and of the Center Planning and Development Office is hard at work developing partnerships that will share the Center's unique resources while advancing its goal as a robust, multi-user spaceport. Facilities previously dedicated to the space shuttle are now being used by commercial companies. For example, Orbiter Processing Facility Number 3 will be... left of the fixed service structure, the area you see sticking out um, over to the left with all the white on it, that is called the rotating service. Building rolls away before they launch, whereas the other two buildings do it kind of how we do it, is they build their rocket inside of a building and then roll it out onto a launch pad for launch. So it's just kind of a different setup, that's why they look a little bit different. But that's the only three active launch pads we have over there right now. And that is the only three rockets launching from over there. And it's all unmanned missions right now. Um, the last time an astronaut went up from over there was um, back in the late 60s. They're in the Mercury and set up in this space. And then they also have that contract with NASA already to deliver cargo to the International Space Station and bring back experiments. So the only company that can dock to the International Space Station right now and actually... To sum it up, NASA's focus, focus, focusing on deep space exploration with their new Space Launch System rocket and they're leasing these things out for low Earth orbit to commercial come. Seconds before launch, that entire launch pad was flooded with all of that water and that was used for sound suppression. That kept the sound decimals down, it kept the sound from bouncing back up and damaging the space shuttle. So if you ever saw a launch and you saw all of that white smoke on the ground, that wasn't actually smoke, it was steam from all the water. Uh, once the engines were lit quickly, so it really wasn't the flames or the heat they were worried about out here, it was the sound they were worried about. The concussion from that sound would stop your heart if you were out here. Engineer would be setting that was driving it and they would not 
this cannot go backwards. It can only go forward. So um, one would drive forward and the other one would drive forward. White building with windows along the front of it. That's the launch control center. That's where the people were that were launching the vehicles. Um, during a launch though, they only had control. Today, there's quite a few people out at work today. Um, a lot of people do take off on Fridays out here though. Um, but this is only one section. We have another section where headquarters is an office building going. And that's the same thing that's happening now. The space shuttle was retired. It was only good for low earth orbit. And it was a very old vehicle. And they decided after the Columbia accident that it was not safe anymore. It would finish completing the International Space Station and then it would be retired. So Space Station instead of Russia. Oh, out here to the right is another mobile launch platform. There's a turtle down there. But there's another mobile launch platform out there just like the one that we saw at Launch Pad A, but that's the original one. That's the one that Apollo 13 launched off of. And then back behind it, the big tower, that's the new mobile launcher. It's gonna be used for the new space launch system. For me, for the duration of our presentation. If you must leave during the presentation, please exit through the doors on your right. Thank you. We have the power transfer, and we're now on the flight batteries within the launch vehicle.
I did. I am sorry if I say it's six. I apologize. It's five. I'm sorry. I might be an uh, hour ahead. Day Friday. Oh, I met me so I want to get out of here earlier. So I don't know. <laughs> no, it closes. Uh, it closes at five. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, uh. Trust that you enjoyed it and you have a bad understanding on what's going on here. We are, we're not closing, we're not even dozing that much. We are out here uh, prepared and uh, continue to build and research. And we're going to places we've never been before in the near future. Uh, but all of the things that have been done in, uh, in space, over the 30,000 spin-offs that we are using here, and some of you have one of them always. You got Ай, не будни ютуб.